Hi everybody. Okay, so today's video is going to be talking about um, tubal sterilization. And what that is, is basically getting your tubes tied, is the layman way of saying it. Um, I did my class last Friday, and you do have to, in, in the state of California, you do have to take a class on it to make sure you get all the proper information. And I thought it was really simple, but no, it's not a simple procedure as far as like the many options you have. I didn't know that there were so many options or so many different ways of going about doing it. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to talk to my doctor about how I want to do it yet. As far as like, do I want her to cut them, cut the um, fallopian tubes? Do I want her to burn them or do I just want her to clamp them? And when you get them clamped, it's which which is um, what I'm probably most likely leaning towards. Um, it's the same material they use in prosthetics as far as like uh, pacemakers. Um, anything they put into your body, they've been using it for centuries, okay? So, um... It won't harm your body. And the thing about getting them cut, they can always fuse back together. And getting them burned, it just takes a longer process. They have to be in there inside your body longer than just clamping the tubes. So um <laughs> yeah, I I want the least risk about the least risk possible. So I think I'm gonna go with the clamps. Well I'm gonna talk to my physician and see how we wanna go about doing it as far as what's best for me. And um I think that's the way to go though. Also um, they give you a general anesthetic, it means they knock you out, like, you dead to the world. And I thought they would give you a local anesthetic, and I'm like, I, I don't want to be knocked out. <laughs> I don't like being knocked out. That's just not for me. I don't know what's going on. I'm, like, weird about people putting me under. Um, that's why I'm not going to get epidural with this particular pregnancy. Um, I didn't have one with the last one either, so it should be fine. But, um... But yeah, there's a lot of information. So I would just say, talk to you, your doctor about what's right for you. Um, you're not in the hospital any longer than you will be than having a baby. If so, maybe a day later. I usually am out by the second day. Like, I have the baby one day. The next day, I'm resting. And that third day, like, I'm not staying. That morning, I'm, like, leaving the hospital, go home. So I've only literally been in the hospital two days. Um, I may have to stay a third day, which is fine, um, because my son has to get a circumcision too. Um, all of my children are circumcised. It's just a decision my husband and I made to get them circumcised. Um, what else? I'm trying to remember. I did get a bunch of literature on it, but I don't know if you can put it on YouTube. So I'm just going to talk about it. And uh, whatever links I have on the what on the um, on the pamphlets or the literature, I'll just put them below. There's also this procedure you can do called Eshore by Eshore.com, and it's a, a non surgical procedure. Essentially, they open your cervix, they go on with a little tube, and then they give it to you that way. But it has to be done a month after having the baby. You got to make sure you're not pregnant. You have to put you on birth control. It's a long process, but I can definitely give you the information below if you guys aren't interested in surgical um, epidurals, surgical tubal sterilization. Um, non-surgical way to get your tube tied. Let me just put it like that. Um, what else went on? Also, um, for the people, for the women who are going to have epidurals, if you're pregnant, they have to make sure that they don't take the catheter out because you can't get it reinserted. And epidurals, I wouldn't suggest anyone get an epidural. I really wouldn't. It's <laughs> it's not that serious. Childbirth is not that. Women do it every day. Women did it before us. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. You're no, you're not special because you had a baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to say it like that, but you're you're not. It's not. Women have children every day. Okay, you're not special. Um, the pain is the same. As far as like contractions, it feels like severe cramping. I don't. I doubt anybody's pain is worse than the others because it's just. I guess it's just your tolerance for pain. I have a really high tolerance for pain. So I just breathe. I just do my breathing exercises um, through my contractions. And then that's what I do as far as like maintaining my pain during um, delivery, labor and delivery. Um, it feels like you got to take, it feels like you're constipated. When you give birth naturally, it feels like you're constipated. And you're trying to push it out. That's exactly what it feels like. Um, you feel a burning sensation. And... It lasts maybe all of three to four minutes, if that, and then the baby's out, and then you're fine, and then you kind of go numb a little bit. <laughs> Your body's like in shock. It's like it just 
went through a traumatic experience as far as giving childbirth. So, um, yeah, they gonna lay you out, honey. They'll give you some um, pain reliever if you want it. And then a couple of hours later, you're able to get up and move around. You don't have to have the catheter, which is the, um, the little balloon thing they insert into your urethra. So when you pee, you won't pee on everybody because you can't feel your body. Um, that's that's another reason I don't want to get the epidural because like you can't feel nothing. I pooped. I actually pooped on uh, <laughs> I pooped on the mirror, my very first baby. Girl, it was horrible. I said, "What is that smell?" And he was like, "Oh, you boo booed." I said, "Did I really?" <laughs> and the doctor was like, "It's okay. It's fine. It happens sometimes. It's not a big deal. We'll just wipe it off. He's okay. He's okay." I was like, "Girl, ain't that nothing?" But yeah, it happens. It is what it is. So I just want to be aware. So if I feel the sensation to go to the bathroom, I need to be able to get up and go. You know? <laughs> that was that was okay. My poor baby. He gonna see this. I love you, Amir. We're gonna tell him about that when he get older. But um, back to the um, getting my tubes tight. Um, so yeah, this is my fourth kid. I have all boys. No, I'm not trying for a girl. No, I don't want to try for a girl. I'm done. My circle is complete. And um. <laughs> I'm very at peace with this decision. I can't afford any more children. They eat so much. I'm already at cost. I spend a good thousand dollars on groceries a day. I mean, a, a month. Easy. Easy. And that's not even snacks. That's just like food to cook every day because they eat three meals a day. Okay? I have boys. They eat. And so, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'll do an updated video once I do get the tubal ligation and let you guys know. Well, the tubal sterilization. I'm not going to say tubal ligation. It's apparently, ligation means to burn it. See, I, see, it's all this technical stuff. The little mama just cannot give to you right now off the top of her head. So, <laughs> I can only tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a tubal sterilization. And I think I'm going to go with the clamps. I'm not going to get anything cut or burned. I'm just going to get them clamped and um, go from there. They do say that when you're, um, because I am pregnant, because you can do it if you're not pregnant. But my case, I am pregnant, and I'm going to get mine done the next day after delivery. Well, it depends. I'll get it done while I'm in the hospital with this baby. And how she explained it is that they go under your belly button, make a little incision, and the fallopian tubes are already there, like inflamed a little bit because you just gave birth. So it's not a hard process for the doctor to find the, the tubes. So... He or she would just take them. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Clamp them. Stick them back in. Sew them back up a little bit. And then we're good. And the decision, the incision may not even be that big. It's where I might not even need stitches. But if I do, they'll give me dissolvable stitches. So that way they'll just dissolve on their own. I don't have to come back and get them removed or anything like that. Um, same, The same stitching they do if you um, have a natural childbirth. And the baby rips you a little bit. Rips your perennial which is that little piece, that little half inch of skin between your vaginal area and your anus, that little thin layer, that can get ripped during childbirth. Um, it happens. It depends on how big the baby is. Not a big deal. Women go through it every day, okay? I went through it three times. <laughs> so, I'm a little person. I can't push out these big eight-pound babies. Girl, they head's big. You see my kid's head? Head is huge. They didn't get that from me. They got that from their daddy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah okay so that's essentially it i'll definitely come back with an update video as far as me getting my tubal sterilization um and hopefully he'll um well of course the baby will be here by then and i'll definitely bring him on uh give y'all a little glimpse of what he looked like and yeah so thanks everybody for watching um i'll see you guys in the next video i have an upcoming ultrasound this will be my last one so we're going to get a full shot of the baby, see his brain development, all the good stuff, heart development. His, everything should be fine, though. So, um, Fingers crossed. Prayer, stay prayed up for me because I want to make sure I have a healthy baby. That's my only concern. Um, so, yeah. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and go. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.